everyone, let's look at 18. Find the z-scores that bound the middle 74% of the area under the standard normal curve. All right, so the first thing I'm seeing is that I have z-scores and I'm on the standard normal curve. Okay, so standard normal distribution, standard normal curve. Basically, we know we're at bell-shaped, zeros under the peak, ones are deviation. We want, this is key, the middle 74%. Your calculator is not set up for middles. It's only set up for percentiles, so we just need to convert. All right, so if I want the middle 74%, let's say this, actually let me color code it again. Let's go with, oh, we haven't used blue. So we'll go zero, well, not zero. We're gonna go here and say this is the middle 74%. So let me go ahead, shade this in. And we're going to apply the complement rule in just a moment. And this is just a process for getting from the middle blank percentage to a percentile. Okay, so we need to get from middle percent and we need to convert that to a percentile. All right, so if I want the middle 74%, keep in mind, if I've shaded 74% of the area under that curve, then by complement, if we do 100 minus 74, we're going to get 26. And if I divide that number by two, I'm gonna get 13%. And that tells me that there is 13% of the area under the curve here and 13% of the area under the curve here. All right, so middle 74 is cut off by the bottom 13% and the top 13%, right? That adds up to 100%, but let's think about these as percentiles. This, if we think about this cutoff from here on down, this is the 13th percentile because 13% of the area under my curve is from there on down. Now, what percentile is this? Well, it's 74 plus 13. And when we add those two numbers together, this is gonna be the 87th percentile. And that's just saying that the middle 74% of your data, and I'll write this out, middle 74% is cut off between the 13th and 87th percentile. That's it. And just as a little counter example or extra example, let me just put one over here. This has nothing to do with this problem, but let's say you wanted, I don't know, the middle, let's say 60% just for fun. If you had the middle 60%, then there would be 20% here, 20% here, because that would add up to 100. This would be the 20th percentile. And then if you do 20 plus 60, this would be the 80th percentile. So here, the middle 60% is cut off by the 20th percentile and the 80th percentile. All right, so that's how you start to convert middle percents to percentiles. And our calculator does have a percentile button, so if I want to find these z-scores, I'm gonna do inverse norm, and I just need to enter in the percentiles. And it was the 13th percentile, and then the other one was the 87th percentile. And I'm about to enter these in my calculator. I'm going to get the same number. I'm just gonna get a positive version of one, a positive version of that number and a negative version of that number because they're symmetric. So these numbers, they're gonna be the same distance from the origin of zero, just one's to the right and one's to the left. Hence one is positive and one's negative. So let's go figure out what these are. All right, let me clear this out. So we'll go inverse norm and I'm gonna put in 0.13 and zero one for the standard normal curve. So it's negative 1.13. Now, when I put it in for the 87th percentile, I'm gonna get the same number, just the po or same, I should say distance, just the positive version of it, right? And you can see it's positive 1.13. So as we go through these, this is gonna be, oops, negative 1.13. And this is gonna be positive 1.13. There we go. Right. And it should be a little bit more than positive one. And the reason I can say that is if you think about the empirical rule, you know, the middle 68% goes from a z-score of negative one to one, right? And if you want 74, that's a little bit larger. So you should be a little bit further down the line than just one. And we are, we're a little bit further at 1.13. All right. Thanks so much, everyone.